Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aries November 16, 2022. You might learn new things about your inner workings today that help inform future good decisions. You're reading between the lines, which will likely help you out. Supportive influences working for you today encourage you to make sense of everything around you and to learn something valuable in the process. Even if you don't want to share your ideas now, writing anonymously or in a journal can be helpful. Sometimes the process of writing things out and seeing the words can help you gain clarity. It can also be a good day for analyzing less personal matters, such as business and finance, and discovering an untapped resource in the process. You may find support for your privacy and emotional renewal needs, or quiet activities with others can be satisfying. A slow and mystical day awaits you. As the mighty sun spins through your solar twelfth house of intuition and privacy, you will feel deep in your emotions. Our great luminary will outreach his hand to link with a majestic Neptune, who luckily is in a joyous mood as he swims through your solar fourth house of home, family, and domesticity. Now is not a moment to get busy with work or focus on productivity. Take time to lie low and relax with your lover, and you'll feel closer than ever. Consider using essential oils and lotions as you massage one another intimately. What do you need to focus on? A subliminal yet intense shift is occurring as you turn your attention to different means of wealth and value when Mercury in Scorpio sextals Pluto in Capricorn. Your mindset toward what you want to prioritize is subject to transformation, especially since the Sun in Scorpio also trines Neptune retrograde in Pisces. You may value spending more time at home or securing wealth for your family, so these transits may influence your work and life balance. If you have a personal goal to attain, then you may have a different financial approach. Just as a friendly aspect between Venus and Jupiter, the planets of money and luck peaks and after the moon connected to both yesterday, the wraps up a monthly visit to your financial sector that could have changed your expectations. While the income side of the financial fence is already well supported, this is helping to fuel your financial confidence, instincts and imagination on the other side of the financial fence. Today's planetary alignment gives you the opportunity to reflect on your own reactions. Instead of feeling hurt or resentful of someone for what they said or did to you, take this time to notice how you are reacting to this incident. Your reaction is surely perfectly valid, but you want to be able to notice it as separate from the other person. From this space you can draw strength. Lifting weights is a good exercise to do now. If you have virtual meetings, gatherings, or other activities that actually take you into public, this is a great time for it. If your career involves sales, don't hesitate to get out there, as you could have your best day yet. Be sure to include activities that are personal as well. If you belong to a club or league, this will be especially enjoyable. Stay safe and have a super day. In the lead up to not only Venus return to Sagittarius tomorrow but Mercury's a day later, there is a growing sense of excitement and anticipation. While the sun won't return to begin your birthday month and new solar year for another week, there will be a chance from tomorrow to start opening new doors while giving your heart the first say in what you want from the coming year. The moon's return to an adventurous part of your chart today is a chance to start preparing for the journey ahead. The moon's return to an adventurous part of your chart today will always spark some of the most romantically charged days of any month. Over the next few days, the moon will form a friendly aspect to the planets in your romantic sector as it moves through, bringing the spirit of romance and adventure together. The difference this time is that this will be underway when Venus, the planet of love returns to Sagittarius tomorrow. Our eyes in the sky. Be sure to have your dream journal handy this morning as the Cancer moon forms a helpful connection to communicative Mercury. This cosmic climate can bring psychic prophecies or visions, so try to note any strange encounters you had while wandering through the astral realms. This energy lingers as alarm clocks start going off, and early morning meditation is likely to bring some spiritual breakthroughs and epiphanies. We see the vibe change as Lady Luna struts out of Cancer and into Fiery, 
proud Leo. Use this cosmic climate as an excuse to build up your ego, and don't feel guilty about showing off a bit. You'll feel like socializing later in the afternoon, and a helpful connection between the sun and moon is sure to make you the life of the party. You are on the brink of making a major advancement in your career. Don't ruin this wonderful opportunity by jumping the gun. Not everything is in place yet. Be patient. Today is a good time to reflect on the past and take mental notes. You will find yourself daydreaming and this is fine. Let your mind go. You will obtain great insight when you don't restrict yourself in any way. Your fantasies are very valuable they will help lead the way to the next step in your career. As the day comes to a close, take some time to connect with the universe and thank the other side for all the blessings and opportunities you've been given. This is a time of emotional growth. Get ready for a lot of change. In the pre-dawn hours, the Cancer Moon forms a trine with Jupiter in Pisces, putting us in an idealistic mood. We may be more conscious of our shared history, about how we are connected with others through time and space by circumstance, tradition, or belief. The moon enters a short void of course following this aspect's perfection lasting about two hours. If we are awake, we should use this influence for socializing or self-reflection and hold off on starting new projects. Don't make any major decisions. Postpone any major meetings. Your head is not fully stable and any move you make will not turn out as you desire. There is no stronghold to keep you grounded. This is a time to stick to tasks that are already planned. People are quite hot-tempered right now, and it's up to you to decide whether you want to give them the benefit of the doubt. There is a strong, prickly feeling of change in the air, and spiritual realizations could fall into your lap in the hours ahead. A great strategy for the evening is to honor your body's needs. There's an emphasis on life's niceties and pleasures. Eat great food, watch wonderful movies and give yourself plenty of rewards. The cosmic energies are opening the door to the other side once the hour strikes midnight. Witches and warlocks, you'd better prepare that broomstick and get ready for a ride. Don't waste your time with people who don't fully understand your situation. Others may act like they know what they are talking about, but the truth is that they don't fully understand as well as you do. Be careful of who you listen to. In the morning, the moon enters Leo, ending its short void of course. Over the next two days, the moon is the only body besides Chiron currently transiting a fire sign. The elemental scales are heavily tipped in favor of water energy now so the moon's stay in Leo offers us a boost of energy. We can consciously remove ourselves from dense emotional situations if we so choose. This is a good period for play and communing with our inner child. It may also be one where we err on the romantic or theatrical side.